front of you is a 1951 Lincoln Sports Coupe. Lincoln, of course, is Ford's luxury flagship division. The styling of this car, a lot of people refer to this as, as the lead sled look. It was a look that came about in the very, very late 40s, 1949. A look that would, became an iconic look in American culture, uh, which was highlighted and shown off to great success. If you can remember the movie starring James Dean, Rebel Without a Cause, he drove a 49 Mercury, which was this kind of body style, uh, up at the observatory in Griffith Park in Los Angeles. Really iconic looking car, very low, low body look, low roof line, slender glass, French tail lights, French headlights. It's a beautiful style of car. This, bo this body style ran from 49 to 51, and it really is a fabulous looking motor car. When Henry Ford II took over the presidency of the Ford Motor Company in 1945, he set off on a mission to produce America's finest quality luxury car. Obviously, there was very, very stiff competition from Packard, who were kind of coming to the, the end of the successful run by 1950 and 51 and of course General Motors Luxury Cadillac Division. When this car was manufactured, there was an incredible attention to detail put into the design of the car. The build quality of the car is phenomenal. I think this is the best built Ford that I've ever, ever come across. Very, very distinctive looking motor car. The French headlights are absolutely fantastic. If you look at the quality of the bumpers and the intricate design, this is all Mazak metal, chrome plated Mazak. It's absolutely incredible. This car actually has the deluxe trim package, which was offered in 51. There were two different styles of body moldings on the, on the, on the panels of this car. If, you, if we look at the uh, the centerline body mold in here. This is the, the, the deluxe package which has this gorgeous emblem here. This deluxe trim runs through the center of the body. The standard trim was a much thinner trim and it had a step in the middle so you had like a Z styling to the side of it. The car is pretty highly optioned from the factory. Not only have we got the deluxe trim package, we've also got these factory fitted standard steel fender skirts. This is a lovely look, it drops the whole line of the body, it really gives it that lead sled look, but this is a factory option. Now these are original steel items, they're very very hard to get, they're extremely rare, those, you can get fiberglass reproductions but those are the factory steel ones. This is a very high optioned car. When this car was ordered new by the, by the original owner, he traded in a 1949 Tudor Lincoln Coupe to buy this new 1951 model. The base price was about $1,650 and he spec'd it up and it took the price overall to nearly $3,000. He nearly doubled the price of this car on the order form. Factory fender skirts. We look inside, we can also see that this car is an automatic version. Now in 1951, Ford didn't feel that they had an automatic transmission which was up to standard, which was up to par for a luxury car like the Lincoln. So they actually bought transmissions from General Motors. So the transmission that's in this car is a four-speed cast iron hydromatic, the same gearbox which was fitted to the Cadillac range. In 1951, this car featured an all new instrument cluster. The dash was completely redesigned from 1950. It is absolutely outstanding. If you look at the lettering on the speedometer, it's very Art Deco style. The car's also got a factory fitted high fidelity valve radio. That still works perfectly and it is crystal clear. This sound is warm. It's a beautiful sound that comes from the radio on this car. If you look at the condition of the instrument cluster, the dashboard, that's the original headliner, it is perfect. The whole interior on this car is completely original from the factory. This car is done a 
documented 66,000 miles from new. On the title, it's denoted as actual mileage. It was inspected and verified by the California Highway Patrol. This is a genuine two-owner low mileage car. You know that door shuts, it's like a safe door. Look at the fit. This car has been in Denver, Colorado, where it was supplied new by the Comfort Motor Car Company. And then it moved to Southern California to the Los Angeles area. And for the last 30 years, it's been in Redondo Beach, Los Angeles, in a private collection. The chap who owned this car uh, was actually uh, um, a boat builder. He built high class timber boats. It was a real craftsman and he had a real, real uh, love affair with this car for many, many decades. When I bought it off him, he was 96 years old and he was very, very reluctant to part with this car. We were very, very lucky to secure this car. This is the highest quality antique Ford I've ever owned. And I think at the end of the day, the mission that Henry Ford II had set out on to produce the best quality American car of its time, I think they, was, they really succeeded in that mission. I've owned a lot of 51 Cadillacs over the years and I think the, quality, the build quality of this car surpasses that. And the style is one of a kind. I can look at that car all day. I love the way that car sits. That style is just out of this world. If you take a look at the detail as well, that's on the badging of this car. The design is intricate and the quality is immense. A lot of the manufacturers were using plastic. This is brass and it's Mazak and chrome. It's beautifully made. Let's come and take a look under the hood. First of all, if we take a look around it and see how original this car is. Original colour scheme, never been changed. The colour on this car is Bristol Buff. This is how it left the factory. Beautiful colour combination. The engine we've got here under the hood is a 337 cubic inch flathead V8. This engine was peculiar to the Lincoln in 1951. Lower range Ford cars, as in your Mercury and your basic Fords, all had flathead V8s, but they were much smaller displacements. They were generally around about 200, 230, 239 cubic inch. The Lincoln got a much bigger version of that engine. This is a 337 cubic inch. It's physically a bigger unit than, than you got on the Mercury. And because it's a bigger unit, the Lincoln actually has a longer wheelbase and a longer front end. When you look at the proportions of this car, compared with the equivalent year Mercury, this car has much better proportions. The front end's longer, it's a much more balanced design, it's got a great, long, sleek look about it. If we just check out some of the details under the hood. Very, very original car. Correct air, clean, air cleaner unit, correct Holly teapot carburetor. We've got a gravity fed oil filter here, original heater box, we're still on the original six volt system. Twin water pumps on these engines, one for each cylinder head. Only thing that's been changed under the bonnet of this car, it has an alternator fitted, but it is a six volt alternator, which maintains the original six volt charging system. Beautifully original car under the bonnet. As I say, this car's done 66,000 documented miles from you, as confirmed on the American title. I genuinely believe that this is probably the best 51 Lincoln Sports Coupe on the planet. I've only ever seen one other in my lifetime, and it wasn't a patch on this car. The car's now UK registered. That's UK plates. Uh, it's an age-related 1951 number. Of course, we have a V5 for this car as well, so it's registered with DVLA. Um, the history file on this car is absolutely outstanding. We have every piece of paperwork from 1951. We even have the original purchase invoice and the order form. We have a copy of the check that was written out to pay for the car. We have the trade-in details. Also with the paperwork, there is the original handbook, the original workshop manual. We even have the operating guide for the heater, the operating guide for the radio, and even the warranty for the original battery that the car was fitted with in 1951 is in the file. It is an outstanding history file. I think this is possibly the finest 1951 Lincoln Sports Coupe on the planet. I've only ever seen one other in my lifetime. It's a rare car. 
The last one that I saw was for sale in Las Vegas and it had been very, very mildly customized by George Barris, the famous car customizer out of Los Angeles. Um, it was mainly a paint job and a couple of small differences and that car was for sale about eight years ago. This is the only other, other one that I've come across. This is a rare car, it was made in low numbers and it is outstanding. So there we have it, 1951 Lincoln Sports Coupe, 66,000 miles from new, been in a dry state all its life, 100% rust free, 100% rock free, this car's never seen a weld rod, it's like new underneath as well. Super straight panels down both sides, fantastic chrome, not a badge missing, detail on this car is 100% correct. I'd be very surprised if you could find another one of these cars for sale the world very, very hard to find rare, rare motor car. And I just love it.